Coach, this is the new kitchen area of the locker room. What, what does that mean for the team? First and foremost, our current team, one of the things we found is in college, students, they're, they're always on the move. You're going from a, a tutor to practice, from a weight lift to practice. Uh, you have two hours to kill prior to a competition. They spend more time in their locker room and in areas like this than you, you can imagine. In the summer months when there's only two classes, they're spending hours each day here. So this is a, a place now where they can bring food from another area of, of our campus, put it in the refrigerator, we have a microwave. And then you can imagine, Greg, you know, you're visiting Arizona, again, in those off months for an unofficial visit. We're not allowed to entertain you off campus. So this gives us a great area to prepare uh, to have something catered in, which they're able to pay for and entertain them in a very comfortable, exclusive area. And then it connects right here to the, la the players' lounge here that's uh, going to be a heck of a setup for the team. So last year, if you would have came in here a couple hours before tip-off, any of our home games, our players were stacked in our actual locker room. The lights were out, you know, either they're taking a nap or watching TV and doing whatever they need to do to kind of get ready for competition. Now we have almost 10 times the amount of space. This room uh, for them is, is something that on game day, to me, I think they'll use and really, really enjoy. The other thing about it, it's spacious enough. If you have an assignment, you need to work on a paper, you need to do some academic work, they now have a, a quiet place that they can call their own where they can focus on that as well. So something that we're, we're so excited about. Think about the movie theater where now we're able to watch video, be at before games and at halftime. You have a kitchen and now, you know, this player's lounge, which they can do a number of things, all outside of the actual place that they change, which, you know, is, is now, it's truly a locker room. Yeah, we'll jump right in there. So one of the things we try to do uh, is not put a lot of things on the wall. The more words that we put on the wall, the more complicated and the more mixed our message is. We have two things we really believe in. We talk a lot about on the process, the daily process of becoming a champion. And these are the things that are sacred uh, here inside of our locker room that we constantly talk to our players about. I wanted it to be right here on this wall so that it's the first thing they see when they enter the practice, they enter their locker room for a practice, uh, you know, a skill session and certainly on game day. And this area right here, Although it was very nice and one of the best locker rooms out there, uh, this was where we did all the things. This is a lounge, right. this is film, everything like you talked about. So everything that we've shown you, we did just in here. Also, the furniture isn't, isn't completely in, and we're still uh, down the home stretch here. But the second thing that we talk a lot about is, is what we refer to as all in, that's our culture, defining the identity of an Arizona Wildcat. So honoring the process and being all in, you know, those two things can never be compromised. They're the only two things that we put up in the entire facility in terms of words. Pictures, that's a whole nother story. But you see we have TVs here inside the locker room, but we also have uh, really a board right here in which we can use markers to write messages for the players, reminders, etc. Anything that we want to write with a marker, we can now do so. And when you look at the actual lockers, they're built for anybody really seven foot two and down. Right, very tall, long. Uh, to me, it's, it's an NBA locker room. Uh, from this perspective of how high the ceiling is, we were also able to add what we now have is five new lockers. So in the summer, we have a ton of our former players come back. And when they do in the past, we didn't really have a place for them to shower and change. And you know, it, convenience is everything. Now we do, because uh, with the additional lockers, uh, we'll always make room for someone like Richard Jefferson when he comes back. You know, this summer, um, Derek Williams and Solomon Hill came back, so they have a place to shower and change uh, while they come here to work out in the offseason, which was really important for us back to the uh, a player's program theme, making sure that those guys know that it's about them as much as it's about our current team. And we've had a few of the guys come back that have commented about how this setup, this area, is better than what they have in the NBA. Yeah, no question. Uh, to me, this rivals the best of the best, and you know, obviously, we always are looking for feedback from the kids that we recruit. And I think the feedback we've gotten prior to any of this being in place was always that that this locker room was one of the things that they enjoyed. You, you can't imagine when you think about things that are important to young people: the number they wear in college, what your uniforms look like, how many people attend the games, what it feels like to come out of that tunnel on game day, and then the amenities that they have 
locker room, players lounge, all of the things that obviously the Richard Jefferson gym gives us as well. That's great, yeah. that's great. The other thing is, you know, in the past, we've always had this picture up in our locker room, the only picture that we've had, and that's the tip off of our Elite Eight game against UConn, uh, when UConn went on to win the national championship and we lost really on the last shot of the game. We're gonna change this now, and I, and I think that it used to represent the game that we wanna get back to and then break through. And I think, you know, now uh, we've been there a couple of times, we're gonna make sure that the picture is a little different. I think it's gonna represent more of a championship moment, I think from a positive perspective uh, moving forward. So our guys also have kind of an alternate kitchen uh, where you know we have the ability to make smoothies over here, a second microwave and a refrigerator. We obviously won't use this area as much as we once did, but it puts in perspective when we said that this locker room did everything. This was the actual kitchen. So think about the difference in what we have now and what we had then. When you come through here, you can see that we have high countertops. You know, I'm, I'm six foot one, six foot two. You know, it's, uh, it's built for taller people and really the same with our showers. As you can see, the showers come from the ceiling. So any, any of our players, regardless of how tall they are, and they, they have everything they need. Coach, uh, new training room, connected to the locker room, done the same thing for women's basketball as well, impact that has for us. Well, this is a health issue and this is, uh, you know, players first. When you think about that in the past, prior to competition, our training room was completely on the other side of McHale. So our players, if they needed to get taped or any type of treatment, you know, you had to position yourself to go on the other side. And as you know, Greg, McHale's a lot bigger than you realize. And on game day, there's a lot of traffic. You're running into different people. It just, it didn't make sense. It wasn't an efficient model. Now our players, when they walk in here, they have everything they need, including their own training room. If an injury now happens, they also are able to be taken right into, into the locker room area. So Justin and our doctors can take a look at them. But as you know, they can go from here to the locker room to the shower, whereas in the past, it would have been on the complete other side of the, of the building. Right, right. And then we're right here connected to it, you got the new coach's locker room. To put it in perspective, where it was within McHale is that uh, we had a snack bar and we had a women's staff locker room, which we've now moved down the hallway. And as much as I know you enjoyed smelling nacho cheese when you were in yeah. here each game, uh, what does this do for you <laughs> around, around yeah. the calendar year? No, as a matter of fact, um, when you started to smell nacho cheese, it, it almost reminded you of that sick feeling before the game when you have butterflies. <laughs> it was tied together because the concession stand, you're right, it just went through. But we used to change in the women's staff locker room. We didn't, like like the players didn't necessarily have a place uh, on game day, which you only get 18 of these, they're all really important. We didn't either, now we do. It's just a place where we can be together. Notice this entire wall now you can write on. And uh, so this is a, both from a scouting perspective, reminders for our staff, game planning, we have all that in place. We have space where you know we can be alone prior to it. And then when we practice in here as well, we, we have a place where we can come in here and uh, shower or whatever and, and move on. That's great. All right, well, Coach, thanks for showing us around through the new Thank locker you. area and excited about what this means for our program. You know, it's a game changer. You know, I, I think a lot of things have happened uh, in recent years, maybe over the last 10 years. The Richard Jefferson gym, Greg, as you know, I mean, there's not a better gift than anyone could have ever given us than, than we received there with what we have for our players and then the generosity of families like the Davis family, the Stevens family, and so many others that have made this a reality. But this latest change, the McHale Center renovations, coupled with the infrastructure now for our players, uh, to me sets us towards what we want to be uh, moving forward over the next decade plus.